Namaste. I'm Avina Nakarmi and you're watching DWIT News. Let's begin with the college headlines. Dearwalk Institute of Technology starts Bachelor of Arts in Computer Applications. Dear Express Club conducts Advertise App. DWIT Hiking Club Hike to Pinto. Dear Express Club conducts Mega Quiz. And now the national headline is New Laws to Monitor Major Infrastructure Projects in Process of Formulation. Now let's hear the news in detail. Dearwalk Institute of Technology will run Bachelor of Arts in Computer Application program starting this academic session. After successfully running the BSc CSIT course for past seven years, DWIT will now be running the BCA program. It is a four years course affiliated to Tsubuan University. This course provides a sound academic base for an advanced career in computer application for students from any stream. On September 14th, Dear Express Club conducted a fun Dear Talk session advertised out for the class of 2020. Six teams, each with five to six members, participated in the event. The groups had 15 minutes to prepare before they advertised their product to the audience. All the teams presented entertaining acts advertising their product. DWIT Hiking Club organized a hike from Godavari to Full Turkey on September 8th. Twelve hikers started hiking from Godavari at around 8 a.m. It was 13-kilometer hike uphill. After five hours of walk, the hikers reached Fulchoki later that afternoon. They stopped for dinner at Saddabato and the hike finally came to an end at 7 in the evening. The Deer Express Club organized a mega quiz competition on 7th September. The competition had five rounds. The first round was general knowledge. The participants from the class of 2020 and class of 2019 formed seven teams with four members each. The competition ended with a tiebreaker round. Two laws to govern the National Priority Project and to monitor mega development work are under the process of formulation. The Prime Minister's office is drafting the first law in line with the budgetary provision while work on the second law is going on after a three-year gap. While PMO officials didn't divulge much on the law to govern national pride projects, they said the law, once it comes into effect, will address major issues that have plagued infrastructure development. Now let's hear what the people have to say about this. I think the government should uh, go hard on uh, people who take tenders and uh, increase the wages of, you know, labors. Uh, that way, it will help both uh, labors and the, you know, uh, people taking on tenders. And uh, uh, f they should properly utilize foreign aids. I think uh, the government should focus on uh, the. Uh, the rules and the regulations which are on the pending list, the laws which are uh, at the current state should be accountable to the citizens of the country and I think the uh, ones which are on the pending list, uh, the government should focus on that. Uh, first, uh, that the laws has been passed as a first step should be implemented as soon as possible so that the uh, country can run the implemented law smoothly. And second is there should be transparency in every field report of infrastructure development. Moon Choisa with camera person Bisesh Amate, DWIT News. That's it for this edition of DWIT News. Visit DWITnews.com for the latest updates in and around the college.